Venue unique to Nashville hasn't even been open for a month, but already Cabaret is playing packed shows. Artists performing there say that's because it's a musical experience like no other. And I find that the, um, when the audience is relaxed and when they feel like they're being, as they are, catered to, treated nicely, they appreciate that. I know I do. And it, it for us on stage, the entertainers, it, it's, it makes you, it also gives you a different feeling. Country and comedy music legend Ray Stevens opened Cabaret a few weeks ago, unveiling the 35,000 square foot music venue that features dinner service. We were there as the audience came in and crews prepped for a show taping. Stevens currently hosts weekly dinner shows Thursday through Saturday evenings. Curling, it is a sport not understood by many Americans, but whenever the Winter Olympics come around, it captures everyone's attention. News Channel 5's Jessica Knudsen found out you can actually try curling right here in Middle Tennessee. With the Winter Games going on, a lot of people are watching TV and seeing some sports they're not very familiar with, like curling. It's a sport where you just toss a stone across the ice, let it fly, and hopefully get a bullseye. I think what makes it so different is that it's something that anybody can do. You might not be good at it, but it's something that anybody can do, right? You don't have to know how to ice skate. Um, you don't have to swing a bat. You don't have to try to hit a ball. You're just going out there and trying it. In the middle of an ice rink, giant granite stones glide across the ice, led by sweeping brooms. It hasn't been seen in Middle Tennessee before, but with the Olympics going on, Ford Ice Center decided to bring the unique sport to the ice, offering both drop-in curling as well as private way. rentals all with the hopes that people decide to try something new and have fun while doing it. The only reason we're doing this is to have fun. We don't want this to be ultra competitive or crazy. We just want to have fun with it. Like it's supposed to be like a tailgate game. It's darts, it's cornhole, it's, it's that. It's fun for everybody that's not ultra competitive. Curling will be going on at Ford Ice Center until mid-March. You can find information online and sweep your way to a good time. At Ford Ice Center, Jesse Knudsen, News Channel 5. I think he might have a future in yeah. that. Curling opens to the public on Sunday. The drop-in session is $25 per person, or you can rent the whole lane for a party for 500 bucks. We've posted the information on our website. Have fun. That reminds me, I need to clean my hardwood floors. <laughs> get Jesse over there, scrub it up. It's going to be a good weekend to maybe stay in and yeah. get some cleaning done. Unfortunately, yeah. especially after today, because it was so beautiful. Nice. Temperature-wise, not too bad, but the rain is going to move in. So hopefully you enjoyed the day. I know I've seen a lot of pictures on social media, folks that have enjoyed it. Take a look at this one that was shared with me by Vicki Morrison. Clarksville, this is Katie Lou enjoying her favorite pastime, as she put it, fishing. Good day to do that too with temperatures in the 60s. Unfortunately, everything's changing. You're looking at First Tennessee Park tomorrow. First ever soccer game hosted there with uh, our Nashville uh, Football Club taking on Atlanta United. Unfortunately, it's dry right now. Gonna look like uh, we're gonna have some shower activity to deal with tomorrow. Right now in the Music City, 55, 66 are high. 28 was the morning low. No rainfall today, but that is going to change as we go through the next couple of hours. 50s holding on, a few 40s in West Tennessee. We are not going to see a dramatic change in temperatures. We're just gonna deal with, unfortunately, this soggy scenario. So as the moisture continues to work its way up from the Gulf, it's just gonna linger throughout the weekend. Closer check on satellite and radar shows that the shower's now inching in and they're gonna continue to do so as we go through the overnight and into tomorrow. Let's look at it on exact track computer models showing widespread rainfall by noon and I think it's got a good handle on things. If you're thinking we're getting a break on Saturday night or it's coming to an end, not the case. Just a few little gaps that will fill back in a little bit more scattered in nature on Saturday versus the widespread variety. Once this is out of here, we'll start to enjoy at least quieter conditions as far as precip goes, but the clouds will linger out there. Totals for this anywhere two to four inches higher amounts going towards East Tennessee. That is why we have a flood watch in effect from tomorrow morning until Sunday afternoon for Nashville and going eastward. So please keep that in mind if you're planning to go to the Knoxville area or East Tennessee or down to Chattanooga this weekend. Hour by hour through the overnight as the rain really picks up. We're holding in the 50s. Kind of a soggy night and a soggy start to your Saturday. We'll take you through the hourly forecast on Saturday. I think by midday and into the afternoon, 
We could be talking about a few rumbles of thunder blending into the forecast, so just keep that in mind that thunderstorms are not out of the question, but as far as anything severe goes, that is not the case. Now, the weekend itself soggy will start to dry out a bit on Monday, and unfortunately the clouds will still linger with temperatures